Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. If you're a Flat Earther, you've probably already heard of David Icke. You may have once followed him, perhaps you still do. I used to, uh, haven't listened to him for quite a while, but uh, heard some news recently that he was supposed to be doing a tour of talks in Australia, but uh, found out four hours before he was set to fly off from Los Angeles that his visa had been revoked and he'd been banned from entering the country in order to do his talks. This man has faced ridicule for the best part of 30 years for speaking his mind on the global mind matrix we find ourselves entrapped in and he's been trying to wake people up with the research he's done and basically just speak his mind to anyone that will listen and it's been an uphill struggle for him. He managed to fill Wembley Stadium a few years ago and that was a kind of breakthrough point for him I think a critical mass, as it were, or a tipping point. But uh, I'm just highlighting this for a bit of encouragement for anyone out there who is speaking their truth against the ridicule that they face from people who refuse to listen, people who are ignorant, people who believe what they are told by the authorities is the truth, people who refuse to question what they have been born into and programmed to believe since birth. This interview is a great example of the situation that David Icke has been warning people about for a long, long time, where people are not free to speak their mind. And it's the kind of ridicule assumptions and hate and ganging up we see against flat earthers as well that you will see uh, performed by these uh, so-called newscasters reporters on Australia's uh, Channel 10 I think it was a morning show in which they interviewed him from Los Angeles because he was supposed to be there at that time uh, but uh, yeah, I'll stick a link in the description. It's it's both disheartening and encouraging at the same time because you see just how programmed the people doing the programming are and how they, four people, gang up on David and basically try to force him to admit that he's a Holocaust denier and this they would see as some kind of crime for anyone to just question the official narrative I'm really not sure of what his beliefs are the way he fielded the questions and dealt with them is is very good but it just goes to show how much pressure these people in the mainstream will put on someone who's just uh, speaking their mind from doing their own research and their own investigations while the people interviewing him certainly hadn't done their own research and hadn't uh, found out much about the man they were interviewing but were making broad sweeping assumptions and claims and accusations in this brief interview and it really is just typical of the kind of uh, ridicule that I and many others face when we simply come up with an observation or something that goes against what we've been told to believe by people who refuse to think about what they're being told, refuse to listen and uh, will just uh, push and campaign for their um, to remain in their comfort zone, in their uh, global mind matrix. David's not a flat earther. Wouldn't expect him to be. He's, uh, but he's 
he's already realized the massive extent of the control system that we live under and he's got his focus and he's been through his own growth but he's continually attacked for his perceived the, the beliefs he's perceived to have and of course it takes him hours to explain some of the conclusions he's made some people might call him a gate gatekeeper whatever i'm not fast i'm not necessarily uh advocating everything david ike says he but he says a lot of true things and says a lot of things that he's formulated his own opinion about because of his own research and his own ideas and everyone is entitled to do that and everyone uh anyone anyone who's going to formulate an opinion about someone should at least listen to what they have to say and do their own research on the things that person says before going against them with ignorant arrogance so just wanted to put that out there and stick a link in the description so that you can go and have a look for yourself it's just a, a stark reminder of uh, the uphill battle that anyone faces when they try to introduce ideas that go against the mainstream but it also gives us an idea of what can be achieved when you deal with these mindless programmed programmers and you hold your ground because you know you're holding on to your own truth. All right, thank you very much.